second day with Army Recognition at Indo Defence 2018. Today we concentrate, we focus on local industry, with starting with the main uh, Indonesian company, which is PT Pindad. But PT Pindad, that showcases a lot of impressive vehicles, is not the only one that deserves interest. We also see a lot of innovations, just like this small buggy. Uh, designed for the artillery and it is displayed on the uh, Indonesian Army uh, booth. We have a lot of things to show you. Just have a look. PT Pindad is a state-owned company focusing in the land defense business. Uh, for the 2018, we bring our uh, latest product. It's called Medium Tank 105mm with a name called Harimau or Tiger in English. The tank has total weight 32 tons, very good maneuverability capability with a double pin track. It will survive on the roads and it has also 105 millimeter turret. The turret can be the direct firing for the 2.5 kilometer, but it can be lifted up for 42 degrees. It can give you the artillery assistant firing up to 15 kilometers, 1.5 kilometers. That's the beauty of this turret. It's unmanned turret. Total crew only three. The gunner, the driver, the commander. The medium tank 105 millimeter is our uh, national program out of seven strategic programs initiated by our Ministry of Defense. For the specific medium tank, we are working together in collaboration with the FNSS Turkish company that appointed by Turkish government. The turret is provided by the CMI Defense or Cockerel Belgium company. It's manufactured the turret in PT Pindad also. This is our latest Komodo 4x4 series with the latest remote control weapon station on top of it, 25mm in cooperation with the Cockerel, the Belgium company. The product is very much fit for the infantry regiment requirements. We will also provide with the anti-tank missile system, but we are not waiting the clearance from the OEM. So what we see here also 4x4 Komodo, the big difference with the other 25mm is it is for the rapid mortar system. With 360 degrees capability, it can fire to target less than three minutes. It has an 81 millimeter uh, caliber in cooperation with a company called RS from Brazil. <laughs> the armor vehicle here is our 8x8 program in cooperation with the Czech company called Excalibur and also with the Brazilian company for the weapon system with 30 mm turret. It's also unmanned turret. The vehicle could also do the amphibious missions. This is the very first time we saw this configuration to the public for our 8x8 program. We are having the procurement this year from the Ministry of Defense for a dozen units. The vehicle has been tested. We did also the mobility test, uh, firing test also. Uh, it has also the amphibious capability. It's an 8x8. It's very much different with our 6x6 uh, family. It has a stronger capability and more endurance. I believe the, it is for also the APC type is different. This is for the 30mm type. They can also transport troops. It has also the APC type also. The worker, water cannon is developed by PT Pindad and Tata Motor Group from India. It's also supervised by our mobile brigade police unit. It's very good for the anti-riot management. It has also the very strong water pump with a 5,000 liters capability. It is a 4x4. It could also operate in a very difficult terrain. These three are our sniper rifle series. On the right side here is our 12.7, but the latest one is our 0.338. It has 1.5 km shooting range capability. And the other one is our 762. But this latest product, the 0.38, become more popular because it's light. Not as heavy as the 12.7, but with the 
long range, 1.5 kilometer shooting range effectively. For the assault rifle series, Pindad has been very much popular with the 5.56 caliber called SS2V4. This rifle has won 11 years in a row for the Australian armies at skills meeting in Australia. Apart from the 5.56, we have also another variant of 5.56 and also the latest one here, our SS2V5 with the shorter barrel, you can see it. We also have our 9mm submachine gun called PM3. It gives the similar uh, resemble of other European submachine gun. It's 9mm using the similar weapons, uh, sorry, similar ammunition as the pistol does. So these are our series of new products that we bring for our 2018 Indo Defense. I want to introduce my our uh, new vehicle for complete our artillery weapon like this we call uh, Saptapang Rungu like this. This ability can find the artillery enemy until 20 km. This function uh, can find from sound wave of sound from that equipment. Thank you, sir. The brake is a uh, four brake and 20, 250 cc. And the sort for active this vehicle with petrol. And we act active our Sapta Pangrungu system. We make the battery can be sourced by electric and can be solar. And then here. If we detect our artillery, and we can find the enemy, we combine two clients like this. We call this client and get the source from the data to server. And this, from the input data to server, we go, we give to uh, like artillery weapon, like we have uh, 76, uh, caliber 76, 105, like that, Cesar and Astros. But this vehicle only for 76 millimeter and only 105 millimeter. is system mechatronic mortar with auto loader. The specification elevation maximum is 83 degrees, minimum is 42 degrees. This is is simple operated for our personnel army. Can I demonstration for this system? This is a, a elevation down and this is elevation up this is for rotary this system with software calculator ballistic with DLP Embarcadero is simple applicated for all Android like this I can demo for autoloader This is a battle robotic from Polytechnic Kodiklatat, Malang City. This product uh, manufactured on the this my company. Uh, I'm sorry, this is my college, yeah, because this is a product from the our student. I have student because in Malang City Education Center. The Robotic consists of the two rocket launcher and one weapon type of the minimi to the target. We can to fire if the camera catch the target. Camera the start target. If I control to fire to target. For the example, this is the remote use uh, twenty point four gigahertz. 
he does. Even though 2.4 gigahertz frequency carrier commercial, but the system use encrypt data 